these trying times, this is what it's come to, but this in no way replaces personal interaction. So I pray that you will talk to someone face to face today. In the meantime, let's do a little breathing. Sink into your right foot. Separate your feet to hip width. Hands raised by the wrists. And drop by the elbows. Inhale up. And exhale down. Five repetitions. Feel the energy rise from your feet to the crown of your head. And roll back, settling the knees. Soften the knees, chin slightly tucked, and open under the arms. Inward circles, bring the hands up. Open, settle down. Again, feel the heaviness in the connection with the earth and the lightness as you rise to the heavens. Let that light feeling move down to the heavy and blend. Hands scoop, gather, raise, separate, turn out, reconnect down. One more time. Finish palms away from the body, open under the arms, feel a little fullness, be a little puffy, light, got clouds tucked under your arms. And then reverse, open up. Settle down. Elongating the spine, which stays long, even as the hands settle. Feel the byway, the crown, connect to the heavens. Algon, the energy of the palms, moving the chi around. Relax again with the clouds under your arms and the warmth behind the knees. Bring your feet to fist width, narrower stance. Separate heaven and earth. Right hand rises, left hand falls, inhaling. Exhale as the energy changes from palm to palm, other side. A little addition on this repetition as the left hand settles down, lift the left heel, but keep the weight evenly distributed between the feet. Again, exhaling back to the center, energies are now moving from palm to palm, and now as the right hand pushes down, the right heel rises. It's a very subtle motion. The body doesn't rise and fall, just the heel to move the connection of the earth, the lower foot, to the front, the ball of the foot and the toes. on each side. Now the 
Let's go for a bonus round. Feel the energy from the laogong, the palms of the hand, bringing the energy up, bringing the energy down, transfers by the mouth. Exhale, both hands back to center, palms up. Settle the energy into your Dantian, into the center. Relax the arms down, relax the shoulders. Again, feel the clouds under the arms and the knees soft. A little twist with the wise owl gazes back. Inhale, exhale and turn to the left. to center, exhale, turn the other direction, the beauty of it is it's a natural movement that you know how to do already and an excellent way to soften the spine. active then starting with the head turn the head twist the shoulders and the hips and ring out to your spine move the energy up and down the critical vertebrae column that twist also connects to the feet and your root into the earth And inhale back to center. One more time, enjoy each side. As you return to center, again open under the arms. Soft behind the knees, a fullness. Now we'll get into a wider stance. Your comfort level, again, you notice hands are staying full away from the body. Knees bend without pushing out over the toes. Think more of sitting the tailbone down between the heels. We could stay here all day, but let's move a little. Put one hand on top. Other hand finds the connection of the energy and then turn in the direction of the top hand with a little weight shift. Hands roll over, back to center. Let's pause for a moment to realign the spine. Make sure that you've tucked your tail, roll the lower part of the pelvis forward slightly, and then moving the other direction little weight shift hands roll over come back to center again feel the connection between the palms feel the feet rooted into the earth if it's good a little lower how strong do you feel today and let's go back and forth inhale and exhale Take a look around, release the energy one direction, gather the energy from that direction to take it over to the other. And again, stirring, releasing, recapturing energy from one side and the other, the balance of the yin and yang. attention to the color or tone of your breath. Are you breathing softly? I found many years ago I tended to get a little fire breath going and there's certainly a time for that. But as the body allows, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. 
nice soft internal breath and as we go a little stronger a little deeper a little more warmed up if your quads are up for the task sit down a little further expand as you inhale but you don't have to rise up maybe you can sink a little deeper as you exhale inhale exhale roll the hands over inhale exhale finish the second breath on this side And settle down again the spine is straight the legs are strong open under the arms palms resting not touching and then gather up and pull the heels in a little pull the toes in and then one more exercise for the legs move back a little with the right leg Play with the shadows. Gather your chi wall, bring it forward, and draw back. Pushing out the energy now that you've gathered so much of. Go back to the root of the back foot, gather up to the Dan Tien, fill the torso, and then out through the Malgong, out through the palms. There you go. There's my energy coming your way. Just sink for a moment into the bow stance. Feel comfortable, both knees soft, centered, and then we'll change sides. The invisible chi. Again, send that energy out for those, those around you, those you're thinking of and wishing health. But bring a little back in for yourself from the center from the back foot up through the center, fill the body out through the palms. Let's try that one more time. Gather in the back foot, bring it to the center of your body, fill the body to fill the arms and send that out with glory and peace wishes for all. If I could hold up the world, there I'd be. So, a simple practice to start your day, to finish your day. Again, the virtual world is maybe our mainstay for now, but please connect personally with someone, someone you love, share the energy and health.